Hello, now uh, in today's video we are going to talk about the TKM initiative normally referred as the total quality management. I also offer tutoring services in case you have any problems with the CAPSIM simulation. Just send me an email that is on your screen. Under the TQM, it is important to invest when the TQM opens up, which is uh, mainly the third round and the fourth round, because if you invest in the TQM, it will improve the, the efficiency and the profitability of the company. And uh, in case you don't know anything, you can. we have these information buttons whereby you can click them and you'll have some brief explanation of what you're supposed to do. Because if you look at mine, I've been there's an explanation that I can only invest 1.5 million this round and uh, spending more than 4 million in any given initiative will give me a diminishing returns. So I'll start with, you can also do yours, you can start with 1 million in each of the four rounds or uh, still you can do 1.5 in round one or when it opens, maybe in uh, round three or four, then you can do 1.5 in the round that will follow, then you finalize with uh, 1 million in the last round. And uh, we have uh, three sections. We have the process management initiative. These are just the list of initiative processes. Then you have the projected impact. This is, it will show you if you are saving or improving of uh, after investing, if you invest uh, in this round, it will show you what will be a worst case and uh, what will be a best case. Then we have the down here. It will give you a brief uh, virtual explanation of what happened last year. Did you save or did you improve or by what uh, margin? So to start us off, we'll start with this projected impact whereby you can see the total expenditure. So we have the first one is the material cost reduction. This one will just help in reducing of uh, the material cost. Then we have the labor cost reduction. My worst case before investment is 14%. Then my best case is uh, also 14.0%. Then you have the reduction in the R&D cycle time. Then you have the reduction in the administration costs. Then you have the demand increase. You should. Uh, by now you should know that uh, in the TKIM initiative, cost reduction is uh, the easiest because it reduces cost and increases profit. And before I go into further explanation, I normally advise students to always do the TKM section first before you do the finance because if you do that, you'll be able to know if you'll be required to borrow some money or uh, you'll just use the available cash and uh, if it will also depend with your strategy because the low tech teams will uh, prioritize material cost reduction, then uh, the high tech teams will uh, prioritize R&D cycle time because this will help them later in the game because it will get them, uh, it will get their products out earlier in the game and increase their competitiveness in the market. It is also helpful if you have uh, automated your plans to 10.0, then high tech teams will also tend to prioritize labor cost reduction. Then demand increase will increase your sales versus your competitors, but the downward side of it is that almost each team will normally invest on uh, demand increase. Then also with TQM, the TQM will take effect on the same year that you invest it. And if you want to look at your administration cost, you can check it on uh, the income statement. Then also with the, the total quality management, I normally prioritize that. I normally advise that if you want to get the maximum benefit, you should start with prioritizing on the material cost reduction the labor cost reduction, the R&D cost reduction. Also, increase on demand and uh, reduce of the SG and A expense. So to start us off, we'll start with, uh, let's say I want to look at my material cost reduction in terms of worst case and uh, best case. So I'll start with uh, 
the CPI systems. So we have the process management initiatives, the CPI systems. The CPI will uh, drive reduction in material cost. Then you have the vendor or the JIT. This one will just reduce your material cost and the administration cost. Then we have the quality initiative training. This one will reduce your labor cost. Then we have the channel support system. This one will increase your demand. The concurrent engineering. This one will uh, reduce your R&D cycle time. Then we have the green program, the United Nations environmental program. This one will uh, just uh, increase the demand for your products and reduce material cost. The benchmarking. This one will reduce your administration cost. The quality function deployment effort. Then we have the CCE, the Sigma training. This one will, uh, because if you train your workers, you'll reduce labor and uh, material costs. Then you have the sustainability initiative. This one will uh, reduce your labor cost. So we want to do some examples. So let's say I invest 1 million in each of the initiative because if I put here 1,000, this is basically 1 million because you can see we have three zeros here. So I'll start with 1 million in each initiative. Then I see if I can have any uh, significant impact. So I'll, I'm just investing 1 million. So to see if I uh, just want you to put your concentration on this uh, worst case and best case. So let me recalculate and see what will happen. So if I recalculate, you'll see that my projected material cost reduction went up by some percent, 1.2% uh, from 11.8 worst case to best case of 13%. My labor cost reduction went from 14.0% to 16.1%. My R&D cycle time went from 40 to 44.8%. Then my re my reduction in administration cost went from 60% to 64.8%. Demand increase went from 14.4% to 15.6%. And uh, again, I'll just say that it will depend with the type of strategy that you are using because in later rounds, you will be required to start investing uh, less because after investing in the total quality management, you will not be able to pass uh, to exceed more than 4 million. You see on the total quality management, you can open into the reports. Then we have the number 12, which is HR uh, TQM report. If you click at it, you'll see that we have the needed, the not this one, the TQM. Last round, I invested uh, 1 million in each because for me, I normally invest uh, 1 million in the four rounds so that I have I invested and you can see that my material cost reduction was 11.8 percent. The Baldwin company also in, did the same because it's like uh, uh, the Andrews company which is our company then the Baldwin company and uh, the Erie company all of us uh, got the benefits of investing in the total quality management. Then we have this other guy the Chester. I don't know what happened in them because after all, they did not invest and uh, they did not get the benefits that uh, was there. The Ferris company, no, the Digby, second the Digby, then they, I think they invested in uh, some previous rounds. So their material cost reduced by 4.89%. Their labor cost by 7.22%. They this, the, we have these other percents also. Then the Ferris company, they have a uh, material cost reduction of 0.14%. I think they invested in some selected initiative. Then the total expenditure will be this one. You'll see it and uh, this one is normally an expense in the income statement. So let me show you where it is. So we'll just come to the income statement. So, um, so if you look at my income statement, if invested because this, uh, the administration cost, they have been reduced. So you look at my total quality management will be under the other section in the income statement. And you see that I invested uh, 10 million. So this is the value. So that's, that's it for today. So I think we can, uh, I can, if you have any problem, you can just send me an email and uh, for sure I'll help you.